How's Madison doing? I have no idea. Sam hasn't tweeted since they got to New York, so either she's doing really bad at the barista competition, or they can't find the registration booth, which is honestly a possibility. I tried calling her at work, I tried on her cell, I left her like eight Facebook messages, nothing. Last week she wants to have a threesome, this week, nothing. Poof! What am I supposed to do with eight boxes of condoms? Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god, what happened to Glenn? He went to West Virginia. West Virginia was fine. Uh, the, the whole trip was fine until Simon tried to burn down the alpaca farm. Who leaves a space heater just lying around at ground level? Midgets. I saw this documentary one time, and it's tough for them to reach the controls for central air in their home. One minute, Astrid's negotiating some secret deal for wool with a legless woman on a riding mower, and the next minute everything's on fire, and I'm getting trampled by a herd of alpacas that are screaming for their lives. Those weren't alpaca. Those were the knitters, stampeding toward the drawbridge in a, in a terrifying blur of homemade scarves. Will you two relax? The alpacas are fine. I mean, yes, they're naked and homeless, but the rainy season's almost over. <sighs> balloons, 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 this is Aubrey! And besides, during all the volunteer firefighting, I got my hands on twice the amount of silver huacaya that I requested, which means I can make twice as many hand puppets for Handmade Arcade! Now all I have to do is get Aubrey out the door and to that birthday party from hell, and then I can start making some sweet puppet magic. See? Everything worked out. Ben! Uh-oh. Cheers to, to that. Bollocks. Uh, can I have a towel, please? Follow me down, follow me down. I'll give you all that I have, I'll tell you everything. Love me all of my life, never listen to me. Good news, bad news, good news, question, Big D. Good news, Aubrey's Prince got food poisoning. Bad news, party starts in 20 minutes. Good news, I get to joust with kids on a moon bounce. Question, can I leave early? Go change in the basement. No way, Big D, not without a shotgun and a buddy system. Gary has told me way too many stories and I hate snakes. There haven't been any snakes down there since the last time it flooded. They're probably all dead. Um, unless they can swim. Lock the door. Ow! We wouldn't be going through this if you had given me this year's measurements instead of last year's. Astrid, honey, you know what the difference is between a seamstress and a stylist? Tact. Well, then it's a good thing you didn't get me for your maid of honor because I wouldn't want to ruin that fantasy. Are you seriously still upset about that? No, no, I'm ecstatic. So what you're telling me is, if you can come up with 8,000 and I can come up with 2,000, we could actually buy this place at auction? <laughs> what I'm saying is, maybe we can buy this place at auction. What I haven't said is whether or not we should. Of course we should. <laughs> and do what? This place hasn't made money in six years. This place has been run by ghosts. I haven't even seen the owner since 2009. But if we owned this place and we were here every day like we already are, we can turn it around. Reggie, we have a decent staff. We have regulars. We have a fighting chance. Just give me a little freedom. That's all I need. Okay, let me see what I can do. And by the way, that eight grand comes with an asterisk. If I had the money laying at home in a drawer, I wouldn't even be here in the first place. I understand. Okay, give me a couple of days. Well, the auction's on Monday, so a couple of days is all we have. I know. Hey, Sam checked in. Oh, yay. He's not dead yet. Rejoice. Madison's in the 78th place. After one event, you know, it's a three-day baristaganza. Keep you posted. Ben, ready? Aren't you forgetting something? Have you seen what I have in this bag? I could survive nuclear winter. Tell your sister good luck. Good luck, Astrid. Maybe this will be the year you don't choke. What kind of sisterly love is that? Oh, you want to talk about sisterly love? Let's talk about June 17th, 2008, the day Astrid changed her major, and I had to stop our dear, beloved mother from smothering her with a sectional. What was your major? Ben, we don't have time for this. Astrophysics. Astrophysics? Hello, friend. Numbers are my people. She almost had an internship with NASA. 
tell them why you didn't. Because Sam couldn't go. No. Sam could have moved with you, but he refused to move to a red state. His range of values is very limited, you know? I'd like to try to accommodate the ones we accidentally share. Astrid, you know, and I know, you could be doing so much better. This coming from the girl who's running her parents' family business. Way to take a risk, sis. Balloons, 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 this is Aubrey. Mom, thank God, everything's fine. I'm on my way to the Flynn party right now. What? Did the Chinese dragon, like, fall off a cliff? <laughs> like a oh. domino effect, like, fell, 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 fell. <laughs> pop, pop, died. Hey, Mom. Mom, it's Astrid. Yeah, don't worry. Stay calm. Aubrey is on her way. She'll be right there. What? No. What are you doing? I am being you, so that you can go home and be the responsible one, and I will be the one who's never there. But Astrid, what about your puppets? <sighs> Next year. Go now. Go change. Sam? No, Sam, I don't want to hear how Madison's doing. The only thing I want to hear is the sound of you getting in your car, slamming the door shut, and zooming home to Pittsburgh at warp speed right now. Why? Because Astrid needs you really, really badly, Sam. And if I have to say another word, then maybe she doesn't.